This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 24, March, 2019. Voters in Thailand head to the polls to elect all 500 members of the House of Representatives. This is the first parliamentary election held in the country since the invalidation of the 2014 Thai general election. Thailand has been under direct military rule since the army chief Prayuth Chanukha overthrew an elected government linked to exiled former Prime Minister Fakes in Shinawatra, who himself was thrown out by the army in 2006. The anti-taxan in yellow shirts, mostly middle class and urban royalists who accuse his parties of corruption, have repeatedly taken to the streets, prompting the military to launch two coups in a decade. The Pumjete party of Anutin Chonvirakal placed third in the last election of 2011, and has grabbed attention for populist campaign promises such as legalization of recreational marijuana and a four-day work week. The Syrian Democratic Forces announced the capture of the last territory held by ISIL in Syria. The announcement marks the end of the terror group's self-proclaimed caliphate, which at its height in 2014, covered large swathes of Syria and Iraq. German Foreign Minister Heiko Moss praised the international anti-IS coalition and courageous local partners for defeating the jihadist group, but said IS remained an underground threat. French President Emmanuel Macron said France was safer, but warned that the fight against terrorist groups must continue. In Mogadishu, Somalia, at least five militants set off a car bomb and raid, a government building, killing at least five people. al Shabaab claim responsibility for the attack. Civilians fleeing the scene of a gunfight between Somali security forces and Shabaab fighters. In Mogadishu on Saturday. Credit credits aid use youth war Samipa, via Shutterstock. Somali security forces fought an horse long gun battle with at least five assailants to retake control of the building, which houses the ministries of labor and works. A police officer, Captain. The Shabab, who have links to Al Qaeda, frequently carry out suicide bombings targeting public places, hotels, and government offices. A similar attack, targeting a busy area in Mogadishu at the end of February, killed at least 24 people. Rescuers scrambled to rescue about 1,300 passengers and crew from the cruise ship Viking Sky, adrift off the coast of Norway. The Viking Skyship sent a distress signal Saturday due to engine problems in bad weather, said Borhild Elden, a spokeswoman for the Joint Rescue Center for Southern Norway. Helicopters airlifted passengers and crew members one by one Saturday, and the process could continue overnight and through Sunday.